guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today's video is going to be my everyday makeup drawer for the month of April. I mentioned this in my March favorites that I didn't do one for March because I was doing face of the days on my Instagram stories. And so I was kind of just pulling things from all of my drawers, you know, new things each and every day so it wouldn't get boring for you guys over there. Um, so I didn't really get around to doing this video because I was pulling new products every single day. But I will still continue to do that on Instagram throughout the month of April. I do always leave my Instagram and my Twitter and my Snapchat in the description bar below. I'm probably the most active on Instagram, so go follow me over there and say hi and watch my face of the day stories. It's just fun little makeup to start your day off right. Um, I love doing that. I think it's so much fun and and I just, yeah, like I love just showing you guys what I'm wearing each day and hearing your thoughts on different products. So it's so much fun. Um, but these are products that I pulled this month that I wanted to put on my radar a little bit more. These might have been things at like the bottom of my drawers or that I saw and I was like, oh, I haven't used these in a while. So just things I wanted to be on my radar. And some of these are new products as well that I'm testing out and trying. So I wanted to share these with you guys, even though I know we skipped March. I thought let's get it back, <laughs> let's get it back going in April. So that is what I am doing. If you guys want to see what I'm using this month, then let's go ahead and get into it. All right, let's go ahead and drop with some face stuff. A primer that I'm really, I, I used this in March too when I kind of filmed my like primer declutter. Um, that was something that kind of got put back on my radar, and it's the No Pore Blend Primer from the brand Touch and Soul. Um, this is like twenty dollars at Sephora. I just don't know how I feel about it. I feel like some days I really like it, some days I don't notice a huge difference. So I really wanna make a point to try this and to see how it works with different foundations because um, I just don't really know how I feel about it yet. And so yeah, that is what I'm gonna be using this month as primers, like what I'm really gonna make a point to use and to kind of get a good opinion about. Um, for concealers, I have a couple different ones. I have my Collab Peach Concealer. I love this color corrector. It's more of a like yellowy orange, not so much of a straight up peach. So it is just a little dark, but I really like it to cancel out my under eye circles. That's what I'm wearing today. Um, and it does just a really good job, but you need the smallest amount of this stuff. Just be careful. You just need really little tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Because one time, the first couple times I used this actually, I used way too much and my under eyes looked pretty dark. So just a little bit of this goes a long way. Now for actual like under eye concealers, I have my Maybelline Age Rewind Dark Eraser the brightener one, the Erase Dark Circles one. This I just want to use up this month. I have like this much left, and so I just want to use it up and because uh, it's been in my collection and I feel like it's going to expire somewhat soon, so I just want to use it up before that happens. And then another one that I kind of figured out that I liked and then I just put it away, and it is the Infallible Pro Glow Concealer. This is the shade 01 Classic Ivory. It's not super, super brightening, but it does conceal and it's a nice kind of medium coverage concealer for an everyday look. Um, but yeah, I was like, oh wow, I realized I liked it, and then when I found my opinion about it, I just kind of put it in my drawer and went on my merry way, and I wanted to pull this back out. For setting powder, I do have the um, Rimmel Stay Matte. This I have been using quite a bit off and on through, since I've got it, and I really do like it. I think it's a really nice, just mattifying powder. It doesn't, um, it's not super cakey with matte, and it also isn't a super thick powder, like a chunky powder. It's really finely milled, and so it's really nice. I found this at a local Walmart, so definitely check out there. I'm not sure if it's a Walmart exclusive, but this is the shade Transparent, which I prefer more than like a translucent, because translucent powders seem to be a little bit more white, whereas this one is a little bit more like pinky, milky toned. So for my skin tone, it works out really well. Um, for foundations, I did pull out a couple of them. I have three. This one is the Maybelline Dream Cushion. I was just looking at my foundation drawer and I was like, I haven't used that in so long and I really want to. This is the shade 15 Ivory. I love this cushion foundation. It's really nice, especially now that the weather is hopefully getting a little bit warmer here where I live. I hope that this will just be a nice light look for the spring, so I'm really excited to pull this back out. And then a newer foundation for me is the BH Cosmetics BH Liquid Foundation, Naturally Flawless, and it's in the shade, I don't know, the shade is not on the bottle. It's a light one. I don't know which one it is. Um, but 
I recently saw this at an Ulta store and it does come with a pump. And I've seen it on the BH Cosmetics website, I've just never bought it. But now some of the Ultas near me are putting in a BH Cosmetics display, which is so cool. I love seeing like kind of small online businesses that I used to follow and buy from, like their site. I love seeing them come into Ulta. I just think that has to be the coolest feeling for a brand. But anyway, so I picked this up. It was around probably like $11 or $12, I think. Um, and it's good. It's a little thick but it's good. I'm not sure how I feel like really strongly about it yet. I'm not sure if I love it. I'm not sure if I hate it. So I definitely want to play around with this a little bit more to get a better opinion. And then one that I pulled out for today and that I just kind of put in this drawer is the Collab Meet Your Matte Velvet Foundation. I haven't really used this since the collab video that I did a while back and so I wanted to pull this one back out. This is the shade Ivory 02 and it's a really nice foundation. It's a little bit thicker but it's not so thick that it feels cakey and gross. I did wear it with a brush today and the coverage is really good and it does keep you matte and it's just a really good foundation. You can find collab at Sally Beauty. Okay, for all over face powder, I did pull out this Bye Bye Pores Pressed from It Cosmetics. We are like smack dab in the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale right now, so some of the things that I've ordered have come in, so this was one of the deals um, during the sale that I purchased, and I had a sample of this like this time last year and I really liked it so that's why I went ahead and bought the full size it's just a pressed translucent powder but it really does blur out the pore area and it makes it look really smooth and nice so I'm excited to have the full size and get to play with it for blush, I have this one from Ofra, and this was actually sent to me through Octoly. Um, I was really excited to see this on there because I've never purchased anything from, I've never purchased a blush from Ofra. I've purchased their liquid lipsticks and their highlighters, but never a blush. And this is in the shade Bellini, and it is looks really light in the pan, but it's what I'm wearing today. And as you guys can see, it doesn't look super light on my skin. So I really kind of like that. I like that it's a little bit deeper actually on the skin because when I first got this, I thought, oh man, it might be a little too light, but it's not. It actually looks really, really pretty. So it's a little deceiving, but it's a really smooth texture. Um, it's very soft and it just sits on the skin really nicely. It blends really nicely and it does last a decently long time. Time. So I'm really happy with that. I just kind of want to continue playing with it since it is new. Um, a bronzer that I pulled is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Light Bronzer. I got this purely just so I could use it up. Um, I want to try to use up some makeup products that I have hit pan on and things like that. So I want to just use this up this month, which I think I probably could. It might take me until next month, but I don't really think I can use this up. Recently, I watched Andrea Matliano, her um, Project Pan update that she posted. I will link it down below for you guys. It was so fun. I didn't do a Project Pan for this year, and that's basically like where you try to use up so many products or, you, you know, certain products in your collection. But after watching that video of hers, I got inspired to kind of do my own little Project Pan with like that Maybelline concealer, the Physician's Formula bronzer, things that I've just hit pan on that I'm like, I just need to use these up and get them out. You know what I mean? Not that they're bad products. I love the Maybelline concealer. I love the butter bronzer. But it's like, okay, they're almost on their way out. Let's just do it and get it over with, you know? Um, and they are drugstore products, so I can always repurchase them. A highlighter that I pulled for this month is from Tarte, and this is the Exposed Highlight. It looks so pretty. It's what I'm wearing today. Um, I was just looking for a highlighter this morning, and I pulled this one out. And I was like, man, this is so good. I haven't used this in a long time. So I threw it in this drawer, and it's such a good, smooth highlighter. It's not overly metallic. It doesn't make you look crazy. I think you could build it up if you want a more intense highlight, but I like that you can kind of diffuse it and make it look a little more natural as well, and I love Tarte's packaging. Like, I don't know why. I just love how simple Tarte's packaging is. Um, but it's just a really, really beautiful highlight. I don't wear a highlight on the daily basis. Like, I don't. I usually just typically wear it on the weekends, like when I'm filming or when I'm going out or things like that. On a daily, I don't usually wear it just because I do have oily skin and I don't know. Sometimes I just don't even want to fuss with it in the morning. So, um, okay. 
For setting spray, I did pull out the LA Girl Pro Setting Setting Mist. I'm trying to try a lot more of LA Girl products to do a top 10 brands best video. Um, I will link that playlist down below for you guys. It's where I basically do a video sharing my top 10 products from a certain brand. And I'm really trying to get a good top 10 for LA Girl. So I did purchase this recently and actually I really do like it. It's a small bottle, but it's one fluid ounce. So it looks really tiny, but you're probably getting just as much in here as you would be in like a bigger bottle um, from like Maybelline or L'Oreal or something and I like it it's a good setting spray but I do want to keep trying it just to make sure if it will be in the top 10 or not Okay, for eyeshadow, I have a lot of stuff pulled um, because I am participating in the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale, so as stuff kind of comes up on there, I'm going to be purchasing stuff. So I don't know if I'll use all of this stuff this month, but I'm definitely going to try to dabble in it a little bit. But the first couple things from the Ulta sale, um, this Dose of Colors Ideal Duo in Sunset, it's like a pigment on the bottom and then a cream up top. These are a hot buy, so they're $15 throughout the sale. Um, I did just go ahead and purchase mine when I purchased my It Cosmetics powder because these do, the hot buys typically sell out pretty quickly so I wanted to make sure to grab one. So it's a cream shadow and it's really, really pretty and it's a really nice formula. It's right there. And then the pigment um, is really nice as well. It's a little warmer. It's, um, I kind of like to blow it off a little bit because I just don't want it to be so messy. Uh, it's a little warmer, but I wore this recently. Again, if you follow me on Instagram, you have seen it. And it looked really, really pretty. So that's the cream shadow and the pigment. I just think it's so stunning. So I really am happy with that purchase. Um, and yeah, so I'm playing around with that a little bit. I've only worn it maybe two times. So I'm excited to get to play a little bit more. And then another thing from the Ulta sale, see, and that stuff like stays. It's like not coming off my hand. Um, another thing from the Ulta sale that I got is the Persona palette, I guess is how you say it. Oh, the Identity palette. I'm so excited I got this. I was so scared it was going to be sold out, but it wasn't. It's what I'm wearing today, and I am obsessed obsessed you guys like this palette has so much hype behind it and there's a reason like it is beautiful and I know the packaging says the ultimate eyeshadow palette for brown eyes but I also think that green eyes would really like this and honestly even blue I think you can wear anything um, but I guess they kind of geared these colors more towards the brown eyed chicks and I like that you do get a mirror the packaging is so cute it has this really adorable illustration it's like a magnetic closure and it's a little bit of like a hard cardboard packaging but I like that there's not a ton of excess packaging it's just it's cute and simple and I love that um, today I am wearing this shade right here it's called gold digger all over the lid I blended a little bit of humble as my transition shade up here and then I did charming this one in the crease a little bit sassy on the inner corner and on the brow bone and then I smudged out my liner on the upper lash line with fearless this nice dark matte brown and then I did it on the lower lash line as well I am obsessed with this palette. I love how it's like neutrals, but you do get like a little greenish one, a little purpley one. So it's kind of a little bit of a twist. It's not just bronze and gold. I like that it's neutral, but again, it's got a little bit of twist in there. The shimmers are such a beautiful formula as well as the mattes. And again, these, this is totally first impressions because today was my first day using it, but I'm obsessed. The shade Gold Digger, I was so pleased with because I have been seeking the like perfect gold for me. And I thought it was going to be this one. And while Sunset from Dose of Colors is gorgeous, it's a little bit more deeper and a little warmer than what I was hoping it would be. I kind of, I wanted this like just nice light wash of gold that didn't look too yellowy. And Gold Digger from this palette is that shade. It is stunning. So I'm really excited to play with this. I just, oh, I love that so much. And honestly, I got it in, uh, during the sale for $16 and typically it is 32. It's worth 32. Like it is worth that. It is so good. Okay. Another little palette that I got from Sephora, actually, um, I had a gift card. So this is the Visi Art Petite Pro 2 palette. So you just open it up like this and it has these six shadows. It's a super tiny little palette, but it's so cute. You get four shimmers and four mattes. 
and it's just a sun setty eyeshadow palette. It's so good. You get some like purpley shimmers, you get some reddish pink shimmers, um, you get some peachy like transition kind of shades, and then you get a matte brown and a matte plum. I love this palette so much. I love the tones. I think it's beautiful. The shimmer formula, I'm actually not a huge fan of. I don't think it's amazing. Like I would prefer the Persona palette to be honest, but it's still good. It's busy art. The mattes are just out of this world. I kind of wish the whole palette was matte, to be honest. Um, this isn't a super cheap palette for what you get. Viseart does tend to be a little bit more expensive, but it is really pretty, and I think if you want it, they also have a Petite Pro, just like the original one, um, but I liked the tones in this one the best, so that's why I decided to pick this up, and since I had a gift card, I decided to go a little bit more luxurious. Um, I will link this, as well as all the products I talk about, in the description bar below, so definitely go down there to check that out. Okay, a couple other eyeshadow things I pulled out. I pulled out my Z palette of single shadows. I have a ton of MAC, um, mostly Makeup Geek, and then a little some Anastasia as well. So I probably will go through and declutter some of these because I don't wear them and some of them have expired. But I wanted to pull this back out because I haven't given it much love lately. And another thing I wanted to play with are my Morphe palettes. I feel like, especially my 35P, which is all kind of like purpley plum colors, I feel like I just don't play with this enough, and so I wanted to pull that back out. I also pulled out my 35O, which is my that like warm palette that everyone talks about, and then I also have the 35F, which is um, all shimmers for the most part, except for this row right here. These are all mattes, and then the rest are shimmers, and this honestly might be my favorite. I really do enjoy this palette, because you kind of get every matte you need, and then you get a bunch of different shimmer shades. So, I don't know, I really, I love this one, but I wanted to pull these back out, because I just haven't given them a lot of love lately. So that's it for eyes. I Like I said, I know I have a ton of shadow stuff, but I just, I like to have options, you know? Um, and then, Okay, lip stuff real quick. So I pull, I have this thing. This is the Revlon Kiss Plumping Lip Cream. I tried this because some of you said that it didn't tingle and it wasn't like a minty kind of scent. And it's not, I agree with that. But it does kind of feel cooling on the lips and I'm not a huge fan of that. So I might try it like one more time because I only tried it once and then probably just pass it on because I don't love it. Um, another thing I'm trying out is this Makeup Revolution like it came in a set. It was the lip liner and the liquid lipstick. I think it's kind of like a Kylie dupe, if you will. I do have the shade Eclion. Is that how you say it? I don't know. I'm terrible. So lip liner and liquid lipstick. I've only worn this once, I feel like, and so I don't even really remember because um, it was kind of a while ago. So I really want to form an opinion about this this month. And then a couple other things. I recently filmed my declutter of like lip products and so I saw some things I wanted to pull back out. This Bobbi Brown Art Stick Liquid in the shade Pink Heather. Um, I wanted to pull this back out because I haven't worn it in a while. My NARS Chelsea Girl I haven't worn in a while. And then my French Twist from MAC. I love this shade. It's a really pretty kind of peachy color that's easy for every day. I also pulled my MAC Syrup but that is actually my purse because I wore it last night. So. Those are all the lip products, and that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me. I hope you liked it. Please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends, and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye!